Opinion on Bubba. Did you uh you didn't have as many problems with Bubba as me and Sly did, did you? No. No. No, me and Bubba, you know, we would put the matches together a lot of times. Uh, because Devon wouldn't even be there. He'd just be doing whatever Devon was doing, and then he'd get there and go, Hey, what are we doing? And right. we always had his signature moves in there and stuff. And uh but the thing about Bubba is is that Bubba is really good at what he does. So, yeah. so he's going to say, let's do this, this, and this. And you, we were new. So what we'd have to do is we'd have to implement like a couple of our things. And then, then the next week when we go, he go, they'd be like, Oh, same, same as last week. And I'd be like, yeah, that was great. But could we add this? Like there was a time where we wrestled them for like two months in tables match. And not one time did we try to put them to a table. Right. So sense. I was like, wouldn't it make, you know, the match better if at some point we tried to put you all through a table and they were like, oh, yeah, that, that does make sense. But, you know, when you're when you're kind of proven commodity and you know what gets over for you, then you you just want to do what you're you know, he used to tell me when you go to a concert, you don't want to hear them singing new music. You want to hear the, the songs you're paying to see the stuff that you've been listening to. So yeah. that's, they didn't want to vary from their gimmick. But yeah. the thing is, is that if you only have like a certain amount of minutes, they had so much stuff that if they did all their stuff, then they would just beat us up the whole match and we get nothing. So we, you kind of have to slowly push back with how about this and this. And then as they get more, you know, he, he once he trusted us more, then the matches were more competitive and I felt like they got better. But Renee, lucky for him, he was 265 pounds. Because I'm the one that took a power bomb off the top rope through a table every night. Occasionally, they hit him with the 3D because they were afraid if they hit me with the 3D, the table wouldn't break because I didn't only weigh 200 pounds. Well, that's how Sly broke his neck, man. He, he the power bomb through the table every night. Well, see, I learned after getting power bombed about five times. So when when we bump, a lot of times you naturally put your hands out like that. That. Yeah. Well, I put my hands out like that and go through the table. The table would fold up and I I'd get hit in the elbow to where I started get I got bone chips in my elbow. So right. then Bubba was like, when you get go to do it, just put your hands like this. And I'm like, well, why don't you tell me that sooner? Why don't you wait until I started wearing elbow pads and <laughs>